Absolutely, Mark. You know, after a successful distribution last week at two different sites, including right here on the New Haven Green, now the city is turning its attention, saying they're going to take the next two days to go into 10 different neighborhoods, calling it a grassroots rollout. From a drive through down at Long Wharf to a walk up on the green. Last week, New Haven handed out more than 43,000 at home rapid COVID tests. And for its second go around, the Elm City is going directly into its neighborhoods. Our goal here is to really get as deep into the neighborhoods as we can. With the 5,400 tests it recently purchased, New Haven will use the next two days to spread out over 10 locations, most of them at police substations across the city. We think this is a good strategy to make it super accessible to everyone. And the city says it also wants to get additional tests out there after learning in the last few days that a distributor had concerns over test deliveries. We're running into problems with authenticity of those tests. Believe it or not, uh, there, there are some, some fake uh, tests out there. By checking the lot number of its tests, New Haven stresses its supplies last week and now were not impacted. All the tests that the city has put out and that we have facilitated the state through us putting out we are confident are good. So Mayor Justin Elker says next week the city will be teaming up with local faith leaders and nonprofits to continue expanding the testing reach. And it will also start a test and stay program within its schools. Next week we're going to have start implementing a program where students that have been exposed to COVID but are asymptomatic can continue to come to school as long as they get a rapid test for every day for five days. And so this is our way of ensuring that students continue to, in a safe way, um, physically go into school and receive education. Now the test distribution tomorrow and Friday, New Haven residents only. They need to bring an ID to get the uh, full breakdown on the locations and the days. We've got the link with all the information on the Channel 3 app. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in New Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Matt, thank you very much. And communities across the state continue distribution of rapid test kits. Derby is giving out kits right now at Derby High School. In fact, town residents can get two test kits and four masks per address. Hartford is holding a second round of distribution tomorrow. Approximately 6,000 kits will be available across six different locations.